The neck lift is my favorite procedure. I've always thought that there are so many solutions for your skin and so many other little details that we always want to improve upon, but there's not a lot of things you can do to hide your neck. And so many people, when they have a neck lift, it's just a huge impact. And so because of my age, I am not ready for a neck lift but a, a neck lipo would be the perfect solution for my situation. So a few years ago, I actually made a video for, for us in the office. It was a really good video, but that was the moment that I realized that I didn't really have a jawline, that I had gained so much weight that it was basically chin, neck, cheek, neck. And so there really wasn't a, a definition. And so um, after seeing and assisting into so many neck lipos and seeing the beautiful results that it provides, I finally made the decision to do it for myself, especially with some weight loss I've had. Working with Dr. Garcia in the OR and assisting in so many of these procedures, I mean, it's a no-brainer. It's very safe, very easy, also very fast. We're doing it under local, so it's, it's, I'm gonna be wide awake for it, and um, I'm very comfortable, especially in Dr. Garcia's hands. I, I would never allow anyone else to handle something so special, so important as your face. I'm very excited about this procedure. I've been wanting it done for a very long time. And, you know, prior to being in this environment, I had my doubts. But being here, working with Dr. Garcia, assisting in these procedures, and then seeing our patients afters, that's, that's definitely something I want for myself. Today we're gonna to do liposuction on Rosie. As you can see here, she's got some fullness in the submental area. In addition to that, we're gonna to contour her jawline here to give her a better definition here along the jawline. This procedure has three small incisions. One is here in the middle, uh, just behind the chin. And then there's two small incisions behind each earlobe here. And that's one, turn your head on. And then this is the other incision. So through these three incisions, we're able to sculpt all of these areas along the jawline here. And we're going to come up over the jawline just a little bit with our local anesthetic. And then we're going to fan out down here into the submental area. And then bring this back over this way. So as you can see, the area where we're going to do the liposuction is inside the dotted lines here, and it will include the central, the central part of the, uh, the neck here in the submental space or submental area, and then into the area just behind and, or under the jawline. So the next step is we're going to give her the tumescent solution, and uh, we'll get going here in just a minute.
This morning we're here with Rosie on the day after her surgery. Uh, she had uh, liposuction of the submental and submandibular area yesterday. She had a uh, pretty good night. The most uncomfortable thing she dealt with last night was the dressing. Uh, however, she tolerated it fine and um, she's doing well this morning. Uh, as you can see already, we can see quite a change here in the jawline. Um, you're starting to see some definition along the lateral jawline and definitely some definition in the submental area. So the expectation right now <clears throat> is for her to have some bruising that will progress downward in the next couple of days and uh, she should be fully recovered in about six to seven days. She'll be returning to work on Monday and uh, the expectation is uh, for her to do great with this procedure. The procedure went very well. Um, I was a little worried that I thought it was going to be a little more painful, a little more uncomfortable, but it really wasn't. Um, the anesthetics went in very quickly and um, the procedure in itself was relatively painless. Last night was good. Um, the dressing was a little bit tight, uh, but that was the worst uh, of the experience. I actually slept better than what I thought and I was able to eat. Um, I had my little protein shakes later on. I ate some eggs, so I, I, was, I was did very well. Um, I slept for most of the night. I uh, woke up maybe once and did very well. I did. It's so exciting. I know I have swelling and I know I have bruising, but you can already see I finally have a jawline. <laughs> and if I look down, I'm not squishing on myself, <laughs> so I'm very excited. When you're doing a procedure awake, most people would think, oh, it's going to hurt, what am I going to see, what am I going to hear, and honestly, I was very comfortable. I, I trust Dr. Garcia with my life. I've been working with him for almost four years now, so I have complete confidence in his procedure and in his results. So most of my friends already knew about my procedure because uh, I kept posting it on Facebook and my daily, uh, my daily photos. But uh, most of my family are not very big on social media. So when I went to Thanksgiving to Jersey back home, I ran into a lot of my, my cousins and aunts and uncles and they had no clue I had the surgery. And so I got a lot of, you lost weight, you look really good, you look rested, Florida's being good to you. Um, and so little by little, you know, I went telling some of my, my, my relatives about my surgery and they kept trying to look for my scars and they can't see my incisions. And I, I had a few people that actually didn't believe me because they couldn't see my scars. So it, it's been very refreshing. Um, I look back to photos and it's just remarkable the difference. I'm very, very happy. I love my results. And honestly, like I said before, up until that video that I did for the office talking about surgery day, I didn't realize how much or how bad it, it, it was. And um, now I find myself looking at old photos. Uh, just a couple weeks ago, I was looking at some photos of an event for my daughter's school and I, I took a picture like this by mistake. <laughs> it was just a quick snap. I was fixing my phone and I mean my neck was looking horrible. So just for kicks, I went along and took another picture like this and I mean the difference was, was incredible. It's actually very emotional sometimes because I go through pictures and I realize how young I am and um, and how far I had not realized or how far I let it go to the point that it's it, it made me look much older. It, it, it made me look a lot heavier. And so 
you know, I, I'm, I'm extremely happy with it. It's, it's such a confidence boost. You know, I don't have to fix myself on a camera and look for angles that, you know, made it better for me because actually all angles look good now. <laughs> It's definitely a confident booster. Uh, I had lost some weight um, and I only noticed it because I was buying smaller clothes. But when I looked into the mirror, I didn't really see it. Um, and I guess because more it's like watching the grass grow. It's a, it's a gradual change. So you really don't pinpoint the moment that you noticed the difference. Um, but having my neck still in that same condition was something that really didn't let me see the weight loss. Um, losing about almost 40 pounds should be something that you can notice, and, and I couldn't. And so after I had the procedure, it all matches. I can see the weight loss, I feel the weight loss, I feel the difference, and um, it's, it's, it's been very, very nice.